Alright, hello, hi and welcome. I believe this is episode 12, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened. Uh, it's crazy how much stuff has happened. I mean, I'm trying to make my character stay a heel as much as I can, even if he inevitably turns face, baby face. But um, he's completely changed everything from beginning in NXT, beginning in the Performance Center, and now we're on Raw, and we hold the world title, WWE world title, and we won that from Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. And I still can't believe that I lost the Royal Rumble. I tried so hard, honestly, and to be eliminated by Jimmy and Johnny Gargano, it was... I don't even know what to say about that. I was doing so good. But we ended up getting a triple threat contender match to face Seth Rollins um, between me, Tommaso Ciampa, and AJ Styles. And I actually won that match, which was pretty cool. So, um, man, a lot of stuff has happened, actually. I can't even... I can't even comprehend, actually. So, we got a lot of stuff to do this episode. I might even, I might just make this episode maybe 20, 30 minutes. It's actually pretty late. So, let's actually get started here. For some reason, my mic doesn't want to work on live videos. I don't know why. So, I'm going to have to do these types of videos with my mic on and that's the only way it works so we've done all this already okay go to match and it's it's just weird I don't know I've done a lot of lives and my mic doesn't want to work for me which is ridiculous so okay Okay, let's go to the match. Yeah, let's do this. Go to match. So, who knows how long this walkthrough will be. Uh, I don't think it'll be that long. Maybe during matches I'll mute my mic so I can focus because I can't really focus on the game and do commentary at the same time. It kind of, I don't know, it's just the way my mind works. I can't focus that well. So, let's do this, and let's kick some ass. And here we go. The following contest is a triple threat match, and is for the WWE. Introducing the champion from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 205 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, the bad guy, Travis Andrew. Guys, the WWE title is about to be defended here tonight in history is going to be made. The entire world is watching, Saxton. I expect nothing but the best. Many have written him off as champion, but he is determined to prove his doubters wrong. Styling and profiling, I gotta say. Look who's on the big stage, Drew McIntyre. The Scottish Terminator right where he belongs, with all the eyes of the WWE Universe on him.
Drew McIntyre looks ridiculous. We don't need to see his entrance. The Strowman Express is rolling in. And introducing the challenger from Cheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds. Clear the tracks, the train is coming through. Terrifying power and unmatched brutality. Now there's one guarantee where Braun Strowman goes, destruction always follows. All right, here we go, my world title on the line. Let's do this. It is the I got confidence in myself. This is the WWE Championship. It's been a wild ride on Raw these past few weeks. With the WWE Champion, the GM Mandy Rose have vowed to put their drama behind them and focus on this triple threat match for the WWE title. It's about time, Michael. The WWE Champion will defend his title against Braun Strowman and a hungry Drew McIntyre who's at his eye on this title. Since he won a number one contenders match what feels like a lifetime ago. Good things come in threes. Love triangles, triple threats, announced teams if you don't count Saxton. And right now we've got three superstars that absolutely loathe each other facing off for the WWE Championship. What more could you ask for? Bad predicament right here. Oh man, right to the esophagus. Whoa, not quite yet. Well scattered reversal there. 
Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. This is it. One, two, and he kicked out. Are you kidding me? Okay, come on, get up. I'm gonna get you out of the ring and we're gonna F5 Drew. Get the hell out of here, boy. Alright, come on, Drew. Let's go. Come on, Drew. Get up. Get in here. Let's go. Come on. You know what? Since you're taking so long, we're gonna F5 you out of the ring. I swear to God. Okay. Oh my God. Come on, my character's taking so long. Get up, get up, come on, get up. I'm gonna lose this. I'm gonna lose my title. No, I can't. Come on, get up. Get up, get up. Please, Drew. Please kick out, Drew. Please kick out. Oh my God. I still got a chance of winning this. Okay, let's do it.
That was so close. Oh my god. I nearly lost my title. Oh my god. Here's your winner and still the WWE champion. Whew. That was actually kind of nerve wracking. Oh my god. Get the ref out of here. This is all about me. This is my moment right here. Superstars in this match. Triple threat matches tend to live up to the hype. And this one was no different, you guys. That was crazy. Braun Strowman almost got it. I swear he he would have got it. Put down Drew McIntyre like that. He almost got the three count. Drew luckily kicked out. And we were able to get back in the ring just in time. Braun was stunned. Hit Drew with the sister Abigail out of nowhere. And we got the one, two, three. And now we retained our WWE Championship. Now let's see what we got next for us in store. By the way, I want to say thank you for the many views I've had. It's pretty crazy, actually. Taija Meadows. I don't know, should we do side quests or should we just focus on the main story? Uh, might We might have to focus on the main story here, actually. Let's check it out. Oh, come on, Mandy. You can't be jealous. I'm sorry, Mandy. But I'm champion no matter what. Wow. I got an interesting message today. Adam Pierce contacted me to propose a trade for you. Future considerations. Vague, right? I thought I'd ask you for your opinion. What do you say? Interested in switching brands? I mean, I mean, you know what, tell me more. It's a big decision for sure. The only WWE rule with trades is that you have to give up any championships you currently hold. But besides that, it's a pretty seamless process. Should I go to SmackDown or should I stay on Raw? I mean, I've done a lot on Raw. You know what? Let's stay on Raw. At least for a little bit. Sorry, Mandy. But I'm good for now. She messaged me a lot. She's stalking me. Come on. I know you think you run things around here, but you have. But have you ever thought about what you might gain if you switch things up and stop being so difficult all the time? Difficult? Me? What are you getting at? In this business, if you keep doing things the same way all the time, you run the risk of getting stale, and maybe you'd even enjoy being nice for a change, unless you're too scared to try something new. Mandy. I mean, last time I checked, you kept blocking me and whatnot, so save your advice for someone who needs it. Doing things my way has clearly been working. Not sure why I even bother. Mandy? Okay, come on. Put a little bit of money on the line in a harmless bet and well... You're defending your WWE Championship on Raw in a six-pack challenge. What? A six-pack challenge? Are you kidding me? Hold on a second. Defending the WWE Championship against five challenges at once? Great, you got the idea then. Agree to the match, politely decline the match, rudely decline the match. I don't know. Politely. Mandy really wants me to lose all of my titles. 
I'm pretty sure I'm still the 24-7 champion. Hey, I got a note saying that Mr. McMahon wants to meet me. Really, what does he want? I don't know, but when the founder of the CEO wants to sit down with you, you should probably do it. It's your call, though. You know what? Hey, I'll do it. Mr. McMahon wants to meet with me? Hell yeah, let's do it. Confirm story, meeting with the chairman. Yeah, let's do it. Meeting with Vince McMahon? wonder what he's got to say to me. And I know the quality on this mic doesn't sound good at all, but hey, it's all I got. I'm working with it. I don't got the money right now to have a whole setup and everything, face cam and everything. Seriously though, I'm holding the 24-7 championship. Hello? Mr. McMahon? I'm here for the meeting you requested. <laughs> Made me wake up early to come down here and then you're nowhere to be found. Nice. Hello? Mr. McMahon? Anyone? Ha <laughs> hey there, pal. Just getting a last second workout in over here. Come on over and join me. Let's see what you're made of. Are you kidding me? Akira Tozawa? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? You really think you could beat me? I mean, I know it's only the 24-7 championship, but still, you think you could beat me? Come on now. Pretending to be Vince McMahon? That ain't cool. Let's take this boy to Suplex City. Alright, that's it. F5 on the concrete. Come on, Rev. Uno, dos, tres. It's over. Can't believe Manny Rose would set me up like that. Are you kidding me? Set me up to lose just because we broke up? Come on now, Mandy. You know better. You can't take the title away from me. It doesn't matter what title it is. Pretending to be... Pretending to be Vince McMahon as well. Come on, Akira. You really think you can take me down? Right, let's see what we got for the main story. If we don't got anything for the main story, I'm probably going to end it here. Meeting with the chairman. Yeah, right. All we got right now is side quests. Let's check the menu, social media. I've heard reports that a WWE superstar impersonated me in an attempt to deceive an opponent. These actions will not be tolerated. Consider this a warning. Yeah, that was Akira Tozawa. Okay. DMs. 
FYI, I had no idea Akira Dazao was, but yeah, right, come on. Okay, you're just lying now. You really just love texting me, don't you? I already talked to you about this. I'm not talking to you. I don't know why it's showing up as brand new messages. I already looked at these. Six pack challenge. The six pack challenge for my title. Rudely decline this time. You know what? You want to ask me again? I'm going to rudely decline this time. Yeah. Alright, looks like we got some more things on the social feed. It says there's a lot of new things, but I'm not seeing anything new. Oh, Tommaso. I'm the face of Raw and longest reigning US champion in WWE history. Goldie walked so stripey could run. You know what? Champa, you're pretty soft. I beat you once already, and I'm I'm already the WWE champion. You know what? You want to talk to me like that? I'll injure you. How about that? Nah, you could keep your U.S. title for now, buddy. I got two titles already, and if it comes up again, you and I we're gonna go at it. I'm going to take your title away. Kane. Kane, you could get this work too. Mayor Kane. Yeah, you know what? Let's take Kane out to pasture. He needs to retire. And we're going to be the one to do that. It's crazy. Mandy texting me. Kane, is this all you got? The mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee. The devil's favorite demon, the big red machine, this is all you got? This is it, Mayor Kane, F5 on the concrete, you're done for, buddy. Easy peasy, nothing about it. We might continue with the main story tomorrow sometime, maybe I'll live stream that, which means my mic won't work, I don't know why. 
I'm gonna have to invest in a better mic. Okay, mark for life. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip through that, but if you want to read it, you can pause it, whatever. I don't even know what I got myself into. I clicked the button too fast. We're going to fight him again, this time as Kane, with the mask and everything? I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Oh, looks like we're having an actual match on the Raw. The WWE Universe just exploded! Alright, let's just skip all this. We don't need to see this. Here we go as Montez Ford takes on the superstar who earlier today and allegedly got into it with Kane backstage. It takes a lot of gall to lay out Mayor Kane, especially when you're in his neck of the woods. But that's the kind of confidence this superstar brings to every city he goes. Confidence? More like a death wish. Oh, man. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Man, what a hit. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Ooh, top with the suplex. And Ford's resolve might be wavering here. Yeah, Ford's having trouble fighting back. the quickness on this. Whipped over in a snap suplex. Oh, oh, wait a bit. Kick to the back. Was ready for that. Huge boot. He saw it coming. Uh-oh. About to hit. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Well measured.
Wow, Big Red Kane making a return. Thinks he could just choke slam me and get away with it? I don't think so. Unless we get an actual match with him. We just made Montez Ford light work. Okay, it looks like we're going to actually fight Kane this time. And once again, I pressed the button too fast. Looks like this episode is going to be mostly side quests. I'm pretty sure this is a side quest. So this will be the last match, and then I'll pack it up. And we'll do a live stream tomorrow of the main story. See what's going on, see what's happening. So anyway, we don't need to see the entrances. We already oh, saw yeah, them a million yeah. times. As soon as we beat Kane, then we're done here. So come on, Kane. Come get this work. Last week, come get this work you're done for. The Big Red Machine may have just come alive, but Kane's choke slam last week may have broken something in his opponent, too. I'm just saying. Oh, right in there. Turned that one around. Looking for a high-risk move. Perched up top. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Really wrenching it. Now, trampling the opposition. Kane turns it around. He turns it around. might be starting to set in. What the hell are you doing, Kane? Come on, get your ass in the ring. Does 
just that. Can he pry himself out? Yes. That's definitely it. One, two, three, done. Don't even tell me. The oh my god. The Undertaker, are you kidding me? Now I gotta fight the Undertaker? No way. Come on, I don't wanna trouble. I don't wanna trouble Undertaker. for one night. Now Undertaker wants to come to the rescue. Oh my God. It's crazy. I beat up Kane so bad. He called for backup. In the Undertaker. I don't know what to say. The dead man has risen. Maybe next time don't disrespect the phenom, better find a partner white pause because I'm granting the brothers the destruction of a tornado tag match. Alright, looks like hopefully this is the last match because I'm about to end this episode. It's about 4.39 in the morning. Alright. Last match, hopefully, and then tomorrow, like I said, we'll do a live stream of the main story, see what goes on from there, All right, let's do this. Better get ready. Strategy here. Coming back in the ring. Oh, yeah. 
Another easy match. Now I swear to God, I promise the difficulty is on hard. And if you want me to put it to extreme, I'll put it on extreme. Outcome will be the same. I'll be on top. Anybody comment, say, put it on expert, I'll do it. Okay, wow, looks like I'm fighting the Undertaker in a hell in a cell now. Hopefully, hopefully, this is the very last match. Because I am tired as a mother. And I need to go to bed, so. Last match for you guys, episode... I'm not 100% sure I keep saying episode 12, I'm pretty sure it's episode 12. Matter of fact, hold on, I can check right now. It is. Oh, this is an extraordinary sight. Uh, inducing. The yeah, it is episode 12, okay. Stream yesterday. Alright, Undertaker, we don't have 25 minutes to see an entrance. So let's kick his old ass. Hoping to end that storied career tonight and gain the recognition that he thinks he deserves. Well, if he wants attention, he's going to get plenty of it here tonight. It might just not be the kind he's looking for. Backhand hits the target. Undertaker counters. Reversal on top of reversal. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. Back to it, returning to the ring. Gets him with the counter. Ooh, man. Yeah. 
Overhand right lands. He climbs into the ring. Great awareness by the dead man. worth it now. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers. Corey Graves talking about the showers. What the hell? Undertaker put up a hell of a fight. I was trying to get him outside of the cage, maybe climb up on top of the hell in the cell, but I don't remember how to do that. I'm pretty sure it has to do with a finisher. I, I gotta watch a video on how to get outside of the hell in a cell because I was going to F5 him on the top of the cell have him fall through right down to the canvas come back inside F5 him again but sadly I don't remember how to do that so I'm going to have to watch a video or something or learn how anyway because I'm going to do that in plain mode alright it looks like that was the last match of this story the side quest and you know what, before we end it, let's see if we can upgrade 93 attribute points, okay. Let's do, I've, been, I've been doing a lot of striking lately, a lot of striking, so let's max that out as much as we can. 95 overall, that's what we got so far. Alright, looks like we did. We did it. We did a side quest, a couple side quests, almost lost the 24-7 title. Almost lost the WWE title, defended that. We beat the brother Brothers of Destruction, excuse me. And it looks like that is it until tomorrow when I live stream. And we will do the main story. So thank you for tuning in. Whoever is watching, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we will see you tomorrow.